A happy Tuesday to one and all. May your day shine like penny shine. Say, Rose, you got a song to dazzle the folks? Sure. How's this? shine boy in your family who makes with the muss and fuss the rags the brushes the box and the messy polish that stains hands and clothes and gets all over things well from now on out that whole shoe shining bit is as out of date as aunt bertha's bustle anyone can now spray a 10-day shine on any pair of shoes you can do it in about 10 seconds 10 seconds that's all it takes with the new penny shine the instant self-polishing shoe shine and how about this? You can use the same big can to spray a shine as bright as a brand new penny on black shoes, brown shoes, any color shoes. That's one of the reasons Turtle Wax folks have called their product Penny Shine. It sparkles just like that. And if the tin can kicking champ in your family has just scuffed his new shoes from here to Jericho, well, Penny Shine can fix that fast, too. A touch of the spray covers children's scuff marks and shines their shoes at the same time. The lanolin and the penny shine is good for their shoes, too. And on Sunday morning when it's time for church, the youngsters can shine their own shoes in seconds without even dirtying a fingertip. Neat? Oh, you bet. So why not toss out that messy old shoe box and everything in it right now? You can replace the whole works with one gleaming giant can of penny shine. The 10-day shine you spray on in just 10 seconds. Put it on your shopping list now. Penny shine, another fine product by Turtle Wax. Only 98 cents. My story is much too sad to be told But practically everything Leaves me totally cold The only exception I know Is the case When I'm out on a quiet spree Fighting vain the old ennui and I suddenly turn and see your fabulous face I get no kick from champagne mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all so tell me why should it be true that I get a kick out of you? Some like the perfume from Spain. I'm sure that if I took even one whiff, that would bore me terrifically too. Yet I get a kick out of you I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me I get a kick though it's clear to me you obviously don't adore me I get no kick in a plane Flying too high with some gal in the sky Is my idea of nothing to do 
Yet I get a kick Out of you Any husbands listening? Oh, please don't. I have a special message for your wives. Girls, if your husband leaves home each morning with a beard that scratches your chin, maybe he hasn't got a bright enough shaving light. A lot of bathroom fixtures, you know, won't take an ordinary 100-watt bulb. But now, General Electric has shrunk the 100-watt bulb down to the size of a 60 and made it brighter than two 60s. Get a four-pack of these smaller, brighter, whiter GE soft white 100-watt bulbs today. Loved it, bud, but don't don't leave now. Stay right where you are. Now, what's next here? Bing, I know you're always on the lookout for some items of interest to the ladies. Oh, I seek them avidly. Well, did you know the dean of students at Cornell University is a lady? I didn't know that. Yes, and she's an attractive brunette in her early 30s. Hmm. Cornell is predominantly a male university, isn't it? It surely is. You mean to say a young lady is dean of students there? Yes, and her name, by the way, is Miss Patricia Cross. What's the uh, count at Cornell? I mean, male or female? Well, according to my dope, there are 8,000 men and only 2,000 women students. Hmm. How delightful to have a lovely lady as dean of students. Her job is to oversee a staff that copes with just about all the non-academic problems confronting students. Well, that's a lot of problems. Takes a woman to handle them. With a gentle but firm hand, no doubt. Miss Cross tussles with all difficulties involving student housing, including what to do with a dormitory roommate who keeps you awake all night. Yeah, what do you do with a dormitory roommate who keeps you awake all night? Well, I suppose one solution would be to take up insomnia. <laughs> Say, if Miss Cross figures this one out, she, she ought to be president of Cornell, not just dean of students. Could you uh, invoke a little hypnotism, you suppose? You could start a contest with that question, boy. Mm, indeed you could. By the way, there's an interesting old legend about Cornell. You know, about the time when the university opened, I guess it was oh, way back in 1860 or something, a woman applied for admission to the all-male student body. Why not? <clears throat> well, anyway, it seems that the will of the benefactor, Ezra Cornell, decreed that the institution should be a place where any person could find instruction and study. Oh, well, then the big problem was to decide whether a woman was a person, huh? Mm hmm Anyway, after some deliberation, the officials of the university ruled in the young lady's favor. Well, what do you know? They found out that women were people way back in the 1860s, oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Gee. Maybe even before that. Thanks, Rosemary. Thank you for dragging that little item in. Would you care to drag out a song for us now? Oh, I could do that. It's perfectly all right for ladies to sing in public now, you know. Well, would you care to do Far Above Cayuga's Waters, for instance? It's too bad we don't have a big glee club here. That would be most fitting. What about the boys in the band? No, no. No, they're not glee club types. No, don't you think so? Not this group. They're for glee, but they're <laughs> not very clubby, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> they're not collegiate. Well, we'll have to pursue another course, then. Yeah, let's. You 
you say and I kiss you Go, I go, but I miss you You got the Indian sign on me The Indian sign on me Smile, and boy, I'm in stitches Frown, I'm down in the ditches My friends and relatives all agree You've got the Indian Wild West Indian on me I bluff and bluster blow and bleach to prove each move is mine but I'm like Custer I can't beat that old Indian sign wink I babble and bubble call I'm there on the double you got me dreaming I'll take your name and live in the same team me dreaming I'll take your name and live in the same deep with two little Indians, three little Indians, four little Indians, gee, you've got the Indian sign on me. It's time for our duet now, isn't it, Bing? And the old time is duet time for me. I love doubles. Buddy, we're ready. Don't throw bouquets at me. Don't please my folks too much. Don't laugh at my jokes too much. People will say we're in love Don't sigh And gaze at me Your sighs Are so like mine Your eyes Mustn't glow like mine People will say We're in love consider the hardest to get out of laundry? Grease, lipstick, food stains? Well, have you tried Instant Fells Naphtha? It cuts right through grease, dissolves and floats away the soil. Instant Fells Naphtha washes out every bit of dirt every single time. All you need for the cleanest laundry in the whole wide world is water, a washer, and Instant Fells Naphtha. For a spotless reputation, 
You can't beat the Fells family of fine cleaning products. F-E-L-S, Fells. One of the loveliest old standards, Scarlet Ribbons. I'd like to do it for you now. I peeked in to say goodnight And then I heard my child in prayer And for me some scarlet ribbons Scarlet ribbons for my hair All the stores were closed all the streets were dark and bare In our town no scarlet ribbons Not one ribbon for her hair Through the night my heart was aching just before the dawn was breaking, I peeked in and on her bed in gay profusion lying there. Lovely ribbons, scarlet ribbons, scarlet ribbons. For her hair If I live to be two hundred I will never know From where Came those lovely scarlet ribbons well, Rosie, so concludes another session. It's been delightful. Thank you, Bing. And thanks also to our friends listening in. Oh, yes, by all means, thanks to them. Come on, Rosie, I'll give you a ride home, huh? I'm right with you. Crosby and Rosemary Clooney with Buddy Cole's music were presented from Hollywood, produced by Bill Morrow and Myrtle McKenzie. Join us again tomorrow, won't you? 